Hello beautiful family in Jesus Christ. Here we are in Bridlington, the town Bridlington today to preach the gospel to a lost and dying world, to the lost and unsaved. I just pray that you would all just say a prayer for, for all the people that hear the gospel, that they would lay hold of their salvation because the tribulation is going to be that severe. I noticed in the comment section a few people coming against what the Lord told me to share. Um, I forgive you, but I, if you leave comments that I put in things that are nasty, I'm going to have to remove the comments um, and false teachings as well that we have to endure to, to the end of the tribulation. If we had to endure to the end of the tribulation, well, most of us, we, we wouldn't be here, you know? So uh, it's a pre-tribulation rapture. The light of the world has to be taken out. The Antichrist is here. He can't wait for us to be removed for him to establish his new world order and his regime. Because that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a totalitarian, one world uh, Antichrist system. It's going to be horrendous. Anybody who thinks they've got to be here for that, then please study, study to show yourself approved study the word of god it clearly shows there's a there's the coming of the lord when he doesn't touch down but he opens a portal in the heavens and we all get taken up um to, to the uh to the bema seat the bema seat of jesus and the second coming when we come back with him um, so please be established in that and one good guy if you don't know him is dr andy woods he completely nails the pre-tribulation rapture he refutes all this pre-wrath, uh, that's Andrea, pre-wrath, pre post-trib, mid-trib, all them he completely refutes, proving it with scripture. So Dr. Andy Woods, I highly recommend him to you. Anyway, here we go, guys. Hold on, let's get my sunglasses, I can't see. If you turn it on. God bless you, Bridlington. We have come here to tell you the good news. We have come here to tell you that God loves you. And we have come here to tell you the gospel which will save your soul and write your name in heaven. God will write your name in heaven when you believe the gospel. Which is that Jesus, Jesus Christ was sacrificed on that cross. He shed his blood for the forgiveness of our past, present and future sins. He was buried on the third day. He rose again from the dead. When you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. So save yourselves. You, you have a choice. You have free will to either receive or reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, that whosoever believes on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Whosoever means whosoever. Whosoever means whatever we have done. Go to Jesus. Jesus has promised. He said, I will, I will never turn anyone away who comes to me. So go to Jesus, lay hold of your salvation, be sure of where you are spending your eternity, heaven or hell, they are true places, real, literal places, heaven or hell, and God wants everyone in the kingdom of heaven, and all can be saved, no matter who we are, no matter what we have done, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. Be a whosoever, be sure of where you are spending your eternity. The kingdom of heaven or of hell. And the choice is yours. God has given you a choice. 
But Jesus said, unless you repent, you will all perish. Unless you repent, you will perish. Repent means to acknowledge your sin condition and change your mind from unbelief and believe on the Son of God and what he did for us on the cross. The Bible makes it expressly clear that we all have sinned, we all fall short of the glory of God, and that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is everlasting life, everlasting life to whosoever will believe. That's the only requirement for you to be saved, saved from going down to hell, saved in everlasting life, heaven bound and rapture ready, is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved and your house. Jesus said, unless you repent, you will all perish. Repent means to acknowledge your sin condition and believe on the one who paid the debt in full on the cross for our past, present and future sins. Believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead and you will be saved. The Bible is the holy word of God. In it, it says that we all have sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God and that the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus shed his blood on the cross to forgive our past, present and future sins. He was buried. On the third day he rose again from the dead. If you will confess Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's how simple it is. There is a devil and he's whispering in the ears of mankind. The devil is whispering in the ears, saying to you, is God really real? Is Jesus really the only way, truth and life and the only name under heaven given to us by which we must be saved? The devil, Satan, comes not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. But Jesus Christ has come that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly, even everlasting life. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand are you one of jesus sheep or are you one of satan's goats you have a choice heaven or hell the choice is yours god wants all to be saved and he wants all in the kingdom of heaven and the only requirement for you to be saved and know you're going to heaven is to believe the gospel in your hearts that Jesus Christ shed his blood on the cross for our past, present and future sins. He was buried. On the third day he rose again from the dead. If you will confess the Lord Jesus with your mouth and say, Yes, I believe, Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's how simple it is. For with the heart man believes and is justified, just as if he never sinned. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For everyone that shall confess the Lord Jesus and believe in their heart that God raised him from the dead will be saved. Save yourselves. You have a choice. You don't have to spend eternity in hell, in outer darkness. You can go to heaven. But Jesus said, unless you repent, change your mind from your unbelief and believe on Jesus and what he did for us on the cross, that you would all perish. God forbid that any of you perish. And we haven't come here to judge you, nor to condemn you, but to tell you about Jesus. He is the way, he is the truth, he is the life, even the everlasting life. Jesus Christ said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. Lay hold of your salvation. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved and your house. 
Do not take the gamble that heaven and hell are not real. Do not take the gamble that Jesus is not who he says he is. He said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life, and no man shall see heaven but through me. So go to Jesus. Be sure of where you are spending your eternity. There is a literal heaven above us. There is a literal hell below us. And you have a choice where you will spend your eternity. In one of those two places, heaven or hell. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation for anyone and everyone that believes. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. Be a whosoever. Jesus has promised he will never turn anyone away who goes to him in truth. No matter what we have done, Jesus can forgive even the worst kinds of people. His blood is enough. His shed blood on that cross is enough to save you no matter how evil you have been. Jesus shed his blood for the forgiveness of our past, present, and future sins on the cross at Calvary. He was buried in a tomb, and God raised him to life on the third day. If you will confess Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's how simple it is. It's not about religion, and it doesn't matter what you have done. All these different religions tell you that you've got to do this and you've got to do that to make it into heaven. And God is all asking that you believe on the name of his only begotten Son, Jesus. Jesus was sacrificed on the cross. He paid the debt in full for our past, present and future sins. He was buried and he rose again on the third day. When you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. Save yourselves from this untoward, adulterous generation. Lay hold of your salvation. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved and your house. Don't take the gamble that this life is all there is, because it isn't. Your body contains your soul. Your soul, when you die, will go into eternity, first to the judgment seat of God. And without Jesus Christ, to have paid the penalty in full for all your sins, you will not make it into heaven, but you will find yourselves in hell. Don't wait until you're in hell before you realize how real it is. It will be too late then. Please. Jesus said, unless you become like little children and be converted, you will never see the kingdom of heaven. Jesus said, unless you repent, unless you change your mind from your unbelief and believe, you will all perish. And God is not willing that any should perish. And God did not send his son, Jesus, into the world to condemn the world. No, but that the world through Jesus might be saved. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life, even the everlasting life. Jesus loves you. God bless each and every one of you. Jesus Christ is coming at any moment. We are in the final hours of the end of this age. The dispensation of grace, the dispensation of the church age is about to end and Jesus Christ is coming. The Lord Jesus himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will be resurrected. The dead in Christ will rise first and all Christians which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with the dead in Christ in the air to meet the Lord Jesus in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus. And then we'll start what the Bible calls is the great tribulation. A time so terrible Jesus said that there's never been a time like it and there never will be again. The Antichrist will come on the world stage. This one world leader who will form a new world order. And the Antichrist will cause everyone to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. The mark of the beast. 
without the mark in your right hand or in your forehead, you will not be able to buy or sell anything. You won't be able to get your petrol for your car. You won't be able to buy your food. You won't be able to get your medicine. But once you take the mark in your right hand or in your forehead, you are sealing your face and you'll be cast into the lake of fire. This doesn't happen to have to happen. This doesn't have to happen. Lay hold of your salvation now and you will be taken up in what's commonly referred to as the rapture when Jesus Christ descends and takes all Christians up into heaven before the great tribulation starts, before the Antichrist comes on the world stage. Lay hold of your salvation. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved and your house. Jesus shed his blood for the forgiveness of our past, present and future sins. He was buried. On the third day he rose again. That's the gospel. And when you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. That's how simple it is. It's not about being religious. It's not about anything you must do apart from believe on what the Son of God, Jesus Christ, has already done. He paid the debt in full on the cross for all our sins. His final words were, it is finished. The debt is paid in full, past, present and future sins. Believe in your heart that God raised him to life on the third day and you will be saved. That's how simple it is. It's not about religion and it doesn't matter what you have done. Jesus will abundantly pardon and forgive anyone and everyone that goes to him in truth. So go to Jesus. Lay hold of your salvation. The hour is late. The night is far spent. And the day of Jesus Christ is at hand. Any moment now, and the Lord Jesus Christ shall descend and take all Christians up into heaven. And there will start a time so terrible. Jesus said it will be a time so terrible terrible there's never been a time like it and there never will be again that means it will be worse than the second world war and the first world war put together it'll be a time so terrible that jesus said unless he shortens the days no man shall survive so lay hold of your salvation now and you won't have to be here for what is coming upon this world when the antichrist will reign this is one world leader who will form a new world order, a one world government system, and he will cause all to receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads, the mark of the beast. Without a mark in your right hand or in your forehead, you will not be able to buy or sell anything. You won't be able to put petrol in your car. You won't be able to pay your rent. You won't be able to eat or drink anything. But once you take the mark in your right hand or in your forehead, you are sealing your fate and you'll be cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. God forbid that this should happen to any of you. And it doesn't have to. God is not asking you to get religious. He's only asking that you believe on Jesus Christ and what he did for us on the cross. Jesus shed his blood for the forgiveness of our past, present and future sins. He was buried. On the third day he rose again from the dead. When you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. If you will confess Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's how simple it is. There is a devil and he's talking to the whole world. The devil is whispering in the ears of mankind and telling you, he's saying, he's whispering in your ears and saying, is God really real? Is Jesus really the only way I can get to heaven? The thief Satan is whispering and he's come not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. But Jesus Christ has come that we might have life even everlasting life and that we might have it more abundantly. Jesus Christ is the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd gives his life for the sheep. He shed his blood for the remission of our past, present and future sins. He was buried. He rose again from the dead on the third day. That's the gospel. And when you believe that in your heart, God bless you, madam. When you believe that in your heart, call upon Jesus. You will be saved with everlasting life. You will be sealed with Holy Spirit of promise. You will be sanctified for the day of redemption. You will be saved forever and you will never lose your salvation. 
the thief Satan, he comes not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy and Jesus Christ has come that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. Lay hold of your salvation. You have a choice where you're going to spend eternity. The kingdom of heaven or outer darkness, hell, where there is weeping, where there is wailing, where there is gnashing of teeth, where the worms never die and the fire never goes out. You don't have to go down to hell. If you will simply believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be saved. It's not about what we must do apart from believe on what Jesus Christ has already done. For by God's grace are we saved through our faith in Jesus. And it's not of ourselves, it is the gift, the free gift of God which he wants to give anyone and everyone. It's not by our good works, lest any man should boast. Go to Jesus. Lay hold of your salvation. The hour is extremely late. The Son of God is about to come. He's about to tear open the heavens and descend and gather all Christians up into heaven, out of harm's way, and then we'll start the great tribulation when the Antichrist will reign. You don't have to be here for what is coming upon this world. Jesus said it will be a time so horrific that there's never been a time like it and there never will be again. Lay hold of your salvation now. It's not about being religious. It's simply believing on what Jesus Christ has done for us on the cross. Jesus died on the cross for all our sins, past, present and future. He was buried. He rose again on the third day. If you will confess Jesus as Lord, don't be ashamed to go to the one who died for you on the cross. And if you believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved with everlasting life, saved from going down to hell. God shall write your name in heaven. He shall give you a place in heaven. He will seal you with his Holy Spirit of promise. And God does not go back on his promises. He will sanctify you for the day of redemption, which is upon us at any moment. Lay hold of your salvation. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved and your house. I pray that God reveals himself to each and every one of you that are listening right now. Father God, pour out your spirits upon this town today. Show them how much you love them. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, that whosoever believes on him should not perish in hell, but have everlasting life, and their name shall be written in heaven. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. Be a whosoever. Don't take the gamble that heaven and hell are not real. Do not take the gamble that Jesus is not who he says he is. He said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life, and no man shall see heaven but through me. So go to Jesus. He loves you. He said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. He shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief, Satan, comes not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy but Jesus Christ has come that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly even everlasting life lay hold of your salvation the only requirement for you to be saved and know that you are going to heaven is to believe the gospel in your hearts that Jesus was indeed sacrificed on the cross to shed his blood for the remission of our past, present and future sins. He was buried and he did indeed rise again from the dead on the third day. If you will confess Jesus as Lord, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. God bless you all. i stop it now and start another one, guys. Love you all. See you all soon up there at the beamer seat of Jesus Christ. God bless.